What can I help you with? I have this signed picture. Benjamin Harrison. Hey, Corey. Uh, it's like your great great uncle twice removed from your second cousin. Do you really believe we're actually related to that guy? Grandpa says we were. I've met your grandfather, and he was a liar. <laughs> It was given to my dad when he was a young child, so it's been in a box for about 70 years. My parents just celebrated their 60th wedding anniversary, and I would like to send them on a trip if possible. I'm really hopeful that this is going to be my lucky day. You know your grandfather's middle name is Benjamin, and your great-grandfather's middle name was Benjamin. They were named after him, I believe. Whatever. Do you see any resemblance? I do. Yeah, he's bald and he's got a gray beard. <laughs> all in all, a pretty good president. He passed the Sherman Antitrust Law to try and beat up the monopolies, but uh, it was another 20 years later with Teddy Roosevelt who really started cleaning up the trusts. Where did you get it? Well, we had it in the, our family for about 70 years. It was part of a photo album, and this one was signed. OK, this is a cabinet card. They were pretty popular from, like, the late 1860s to right around 1900. So a lot of people had the picture of the president in their house. How much do you want for it? 500. <sighs> I doubt if that's a signature. I, I'm just assuming it's someone just wrote it on there so they know who it was. I mean, that looks like a signature. Well, remember, they didn't print anything. Everything was written. Um, I'll call somebody down here, but if it's not a signature, it's worth like 10 bucks. All right? Okay, thank you. Most cabinet cards aren't worth the paper they're printed on. So normally, this would be a pass. But a cabinet card actually signed by a president? Now, that's a different story. And not just because, supposedly, I'm related to this guy. <laughs> Benjamin Harrison. Ah, our 23rd president. According to my grandma, he's a relative of mine. They look identical, don't they? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> This size of photograph is known as a cabinet card because it was large enough that you put in your cabinet, and if you're sitting on your sofa in your parlor, somebody could see it without squinting. Cabinet cards today are actually relatively common. I've gone to book and photography shows where some dealers have binders and binders. They can be of people, they can be of scenes, and uh, they do remain relatively durable. Is that his signature? OK, well, there are two questions I have to answer first. Sometimes when these are printed up, the uh, signature of the person was printed on at the same time. So I have to make sure that this is actually signed in ink. So I'm just going to look through here. Yes, and it does appear to be signed in ink. It's not a printed on signature. Now, the second question is, is it actually the signature of President Benjamin Harrison? And I brought along some examples here. And there are a few things I look for with the Benjamin Harrison. First, there's about a 30 degree slant on a signature. So I'm going to come over here and look. And the slant is about 30 degrees to the right, which is the way it is here. They usually sign B-E-N-J and then Harrison in full afterwards. And he has this funny little blip in the middle of the B. Now, if you look carefully, you see that little blip in the B, mm -hmm. which is similar to right over here. What do you think? Well, after looking at it, Rick, I do believe this was signed by President Benjamin Harrison himself. Oh, wow. OK, sweet. Oh, wow, that's great. So what do you think it's worth? Well, there is one little condition with this. So if you see along here, there are all those extra lines. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is a first-generation photograph. In a first-generation photograph, the lines are very, very sharp. What some photographers did is it would take photographs of previous photographs and keep reproducing it that way. This is probably second or third generation, which makes it worth a little bit less. I do think a fair retail price for this would probably be about $1,250. Wow. I didn't think it would be worth that much. That's great. Yeah. Um, people who collect presidents uh, and presidential signed photographs would have an interest in it. They're not common items by any stretch of the imagination. It's a nice little piece of American history here. Yeah, it really is. Wow. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. Anytime, Rick. Appreciate nice it, man. Nice to see you again, Corey. Good luck with Thank it. Thank you. So? So 500 bucks, no problem. 
Can you go a little bit higher? <laughs> <laughs> um, I give you like 700 bucks for it. That's the best I could do on it. Really? Could you do eight? Really? You just wanted five, and now I'm offering you seven. Right. I have to frame it up. I have to do some other things. Could you do 750? I guess we really shouldn't have called Stewart in, huh? <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah, I'll give you the 750. It's a deal. Thank okay. you. All right. You want to write her up, son? Come with me. I feel that we settled on a really good price of 750. I feel that that was a fair price. It's all about the Benjamins.